Good afternoon. I'm Beth Christie here at 94.3973 The Wolf. And it is my pleasure to have on the phone with me Arista Nashville recording duo, the Swan Brothers, Zach and Colton. Hey, guys. How are you? Oh, hey, hey. We are doing great. How are you, Beth? We are doing beautiful. Let me ask you guys this. You've had a lot of firsts this year. You played the Grand Ole Opry in April. You were in People Country's issue of Country Sexiest Guys. I, I think that it's safe to say that's the first time that happened. So how does all of that feel? Well, uh, that's probably the first and last time that's going to happen. <laughs> I'm the sexiest man. I don't... Well, Beth, i got to be honest. I don't know what they were thinking when they put my brother in that. <laughs> that kind of sexiest man. Uh, that just blew my mind. Well, i got to be honest. I think that they only wanted me in there, and Colton photobombed my picture. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, so uh, no. there's no sibling rivalry here at all. <laughs> no, no. No. Uh, no, we, we are living our dreams. Like, we... We wake up every day, and it's just, it's crazy. It's still, it's really hard to believe, and um, it's just kind of, it's all a big blur pretty much right now, because I mean, we're doing things that we've always dreamed of doing, and really, you just got to take time. What we're what we're doing is, you got to take time to really um, acknowledge and just soak in what you're doing, because, like, playing the Grand Ole Opry for the first time, that's that's a huge accompl- accomplishment that you dream about your whole life. And, right. And then you don't even realize that you did it until after the fact, and because you just keep you're moving ninety to nothing. And but uh, you know we we wake up and get to do what we love because of people like you and and uh, you know country music fans. So it, it's just it's it's a good world to, to be in for the Swan Brothers, you know. Well, I have to tell you, I I'm a fan of the show The Voice, so I watch every season. So of course I saw the season that you guys were on. Blake Shelton was your coach, so here's your chance. What's a skinny? What was that like to have Blake Shelton as your coach? Well, you know, I, I wish I could uh, give you some dirt on Blake, but <laughs> but he's pretty, what you see is what you get. Um, that guy, you know, everybody always asks, is he really as cool and as funny as he seems on TV? And, and you get him off camera, and that guy is just ten times worse, man. He's just, he's genuine and... He's he's awesome, and he's still. We probably talk to him more now than we did when we were actually on the show. And uh, he's he's like a big brother to us, and and he's always a, a text message away. And he's just he's really cool, and he's been in our corner since day one. And um, it's good to have support like that from from someone of that stature. You know, I got to tell you, I was hoping that was your answer. I was really hoping because he seems that way, and I love it when you hear that they are. I I just. I just think that's tremendous. You know, speaking of Blake, um, Miranda Lambert, Carrie Underwood, uh, apparently um, all contacted the head of some studios in Nashville to um, get you guys to, to be signed to a record deal. So what does that do to you when you hear stuff like that? Oh, man, you talk about being humbled. Um, they, they definitely, they, they hooked us up with a meeting. They said, hey, you got to check these guys out. So we went in and you talk about nervous because you don't want to let, them down. I don't know if they've. I don't know how often they do that for people. I don't think it's very often. But uh, so you want to you want to live up to their expectations, and so we owe a hundred percent. You know, a a lot to those those people, and um, and they're superstars, man. They they take time, and they still take time for us. And you know, every, you know, uh, Carrie's an Okie, just like us, and just like Blake, and. And uh, we knew her before the fact, and it's just cool that she hasn't changed, and and uh, she's still the same same good old Okie girl. And then Miranda, she just acts like she's known us forever, and um, it just you talk about good people, and uh, and you know that you know why they're at where they're at it's because you know they just they care about people and uh, they're genuine. Well, I feel like you guys do that too. I mean, when you listen to your music and you listen to the songs. To me, when I listen to them, I feel like I, I've known them all my life. Um, there's there's a great, I don't know, just a sense of comfort to them, and, and there's a sense of realness to it. So I think you guys wow, are bringing that you. to the table, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Golly. I cannot wait to see you guys on stage. You guys are going to be at the Dutchess County Fair. Your show is going to be this Thursday night. So what can folks expect if they, you're like, okay, the Swan Brothers, all right, I saw them on The Voice. What can they expect in a show? Um, you know, they, they're going to get a lot. We, we bring as much as we can, and our biggest thing is we want to have a lot of fun and a lot of energy, and we like to get the crowd involved. Um, 
something really cool is that, you know, we have a record that's coming out really soon, and this is, you know, these shows are, are the first taste of that music that, that people get to hear um, live, and, and it helps us decide, you know, what's going to be singles and, and stuff like that. And, you know, we'll also do some of the songs from The Voice that, that people downloaded, and, you know, there's, there's a couple that we we can't leave a show without playing, you know, or people get mad. And, and so we have a lot of voice fans and a lot of true country music fans. And, and, uh, we just, we're, we're going to have a really good time. And of course, you know, you're going to hear the song called later on. Yeah. That one. I think we know that one. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So yeah, that's in, that's in our power rotation right now. Heck yeah. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you. That is the best feeling to show up to a show and people know the words to your song. That is, you talk about dreams coming true. That's just that's wild. That's wild to hear and see. Yeah, I can't. I can't even imagine. You know, congratulations, you guys, on all that you that you have already done, and you know, there's bigger and better things ahead. Cannot wait to see you at the fair. And I know I got to let you go, but I I got to ask you one question: What are you guys listening to? What's music that is exciting you? that you think is really cool? Like if someone were to go, okay, open up your uh, MP3 player, whatever it may be, and what do you got on there? Um, well, I can tell you exactly what I got. I, um, last night I was doing a little workout in, in the room, and I had um, Miranda's new record on. And I, I'm not just saying that. Like That record, her new record, Platinum, is amazing. Like That, that just uh, it blows my mind. It's so different, and um, she, every song on there is, is different. And it just... It's a really great record, man. I love it. Cool. And then I uh, also was listening to it last night, the Kings of Leon, uh, their new record. And so that's a, that's a pretty good one. That was just, that's just what I have up there right now. I but, like that. You know, of course, of course, you know, I, I listen to some George Jones every day. That's what I listened to on the plane this morning. <laughs> that's, listen, I think that's good for the soul, I think. That's what I think. Guys, thank you, Zach and Colton. Thanks again for taking the time out. I know you have a busy schedule. Like you, you know, like you said, you're going from zero to 90. You know, enjoy. You guys have worked hard. You've been doing this a long time. We cannot wait to see you at the Dutchess County Fair this year. So um, congratulations, and we'll see you at the fair. Well, thank you so much. See you soon.